Well, my, my role is a, as a whole is, is like a director of football role, really, where I'll be looking at basically improving the processes of the football side of what we're doing within the, fo the football club. So everything really from um, our, our recruitment, our performance, um, the academy, the education programme, I mean the list is endless really. We're constantly, um, constantly trying to move forward and um, you know I'm really excited to, to be getting uh, my teeth into it officially although I've been probably cracking on with stuff really for the last the best part of a year really. And obviously you had a career playing professional football Tottenham Crystal Palace but it all started here for you. How nice is it to come back and give back to the club? I think that most people that really know me know that unless it was St Albans City Football Club I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing um, this kind of pro this kind of project within this type of club um, not only just because really I've lived in the St Albans for the majority of my life um, this is um, the club that gave me my big opportunity um, it's it's a sleeping giant there is huge huge potential here um, and there's a vision that we're trying to put in place of how we can uh, how we can evolve the football club and move it forward. And obviously, like you said, you've been involved roughly for the last year, getting things started with the academy. How nice has it been at the start of this season to see Hugh Dawson starting both games, Alex Lancashire in the squad. That shows signs of improvement already. Well, that's one of the main things about why we're doing what we're doing. Really, we feel that we have. Uh, we have a pretty big audience that we need to try and tap into. There is a, a, a quite exceptional amount of local talent. Um, obviously the threats to that is that parents will see their son as being the next Cristiano Ronaldo and will want to go to the Arsenals or the Watfords of this world or, or the Tottenham's. Um, but I think that what we're offering is that um, we're offering that if the boys are good enough, we're offering it um, a clear pathway through to the first team. And I think that that's what it shows with Dawson and Lancashire already coming through. We've got some exceptional talent underneath that as well coming through that we're really excited about. Probably not cat category one or two standard academy players yet. But I always talk about silver medalists. And the silver medalists, there's always silver medalists within any, any structure that when they're developed correctly and coached the right way, you'll always have players through and, and that's something that I'm very, very passionate about. I've done it everywhere where I've been within the game. From every role that I've had within a football club from South End in um, from South End in 2000, 2004, uh, Farnborough, um, Crystal Palace, everywhere I've been, um, young talent is, has always been given an opportunity when good enough. And uh, that's the environment that we're trying to create here. And can you give us a little bit of detail about what's going to be new this year, in your first couple of years of full time? Well, obviously we started last year uh, the academy with under 18s and under, and under 16s. And it was obviously very tough because of the pandemic, stop start. We had two two major lockdowns, but you know we still had successes. We had um, obviously Dawson and Lancashire have can't come through, sign contracts with the first team. We um, we now set up a B team, so we're now acclimatising our best young players into men's football, so that we have so that there's the stepping stones then for them to jump forward to the first team when they're good enough. Um, this year we've got three new teams, under 13s, under 14s, under 15s. So the academy's over doubled in size. So we've got um, we, we've got a hell of a lot going on at the minute, but a hell of a lot of exciting stuff. You know, it's a real um, it's a real vibrant project that we're that we're trying to build, and um, you know we're looking to engage with the local community with it.